I don't want to throw anything surprising, but it just dawned on me. I, I haven't told you about this, but not a shock question. Uh, you were asked about the TV stuff, uh, Amazon, whoever came after you, a whole lot of money on the table. Uh, what was that like? And like, how seriously did you have to think about it? And how seriously do you have to think about it in the future? Yeah, you know, it was humbling when people come after you. You know, Fred Goodelli was kind of the link. Fred, uh, the longtime producer of Sunday Night Football, and I through production meetings. And when I was in the broadcast business, he was he was always nice enough to send me a note and say, hey, I think you and Kevin Burkhart are one of the top crews in football. And I really enjoy, I, I, I appreciate your preparation. He would just send me texts like that. And so Freddie and I got to know each other. And, you know, one, one day, um, you know, late last season, he kind of sent me a note and I said, Freddie, we're in the midst of this thing. I can I couldn't possibly, you know, sit down and talk with you. And he, I just want to have dinner. And, you know, finally, you know, for a friendship, I just relented and, and uh, had no idea what they were going to dump on me. And, and he showed up with some execs from Amazon. We did it at, at my house, Linda and I, and had some Mexican food, some margaritas. And, and next thing you know, they dropped this bomb. On me <laughs> and they want to hire me. And uh, that Mr. Bezos is very aware of this, of this dinner going on. And, um, you know, uh, the price is really not an option. They, they felt like it was like, whoa, this is a lot. And I said, I can't even think about this right now. You know, I've, I've got a duty to our team and I feel, feel dirty even being here. <laughs> I just was having dinner with a friend. Um, you know, at the end of the year, we, we, we didn't play well. Um, you know, we didn't finish in that championship game. And, you know, oftentimes at the end of the season, Kyle's just so gassed that he say, John, I need you. And every now and then during the season, I can, can you address our team? And so I just tried to put my thoughts into how we come back from a loss like that and um, talked about the courage it was going to take. And ultimately, that's what really got me, Tim, other than my loyalties to the to the York family, how good they've been to us, how much we've enjoyed this whole situation, um, you know, and then primarily our my, my relationship with Kyle, my friendship and my respect for him and the coaching staff that we have, the, my staff, all that weighed in. But ultimately, when it came down to making that decision, because the money did get ridiculous, um, you know, I, all, all I could think about was that me getting up and talking to that mm -hmm. team. And if I left them with unfinished business, I, w I would never feel good. That wouldn't sit well with me. And so, you know, I, I kind of think I even surprised Kyle and Jed because they, they knew, they said, listen, um, we love you. We don't want you to go anywhere, but that's a hard thing to mm -hmm. turn down. And, but ultimately I did. And uh, I'm happy that I did some weeks. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. It's a grind. There's no question. I, I don't